Okay. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, boss on the bone box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need, and off to the races. Watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places, starry eyed and complacent. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, boss on the bone box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need, and off to the races. Watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places, starry eyed and complacent. Watch it catch the Good morning. It is Friday today. I am off work. Thought I would start off the vlog here. It's about 8.35 right now and I've been a week since just before 6. I like to have really slow mornings. If you've seen my videos before, you know this. I love to relax and watch videos or read or do something before I work out. And then I usually eat after I work out these days. But today I lounge around a little too much and so I'm hungry and so I made my toast. I'm gonna work out now and then get ready. We're gonna go out into the world today. I have a fun little day alone planned. Yeah, I thought I would take you guys along. So good morning. I'm trying to think of what to do for a workout today. Lately, I've been shifting between Pilates, bar, and yoga. I'm using Glow, G-L-O, as like an online kind of class thing. I love Glow, I've talked about it before. I mentioned it in like other fitness challenges. It has the best yoga classes, 100%. And their bar classes and Pilates classes are also really good. If you've kind of grown out or gotten to a point where you're not finding, wow, there are like four squirrels in that tree. I have the attention span of a gnat. It's great for if you've sort of gotten to the point where you're not finding YouTube yoga videos very challenging because you can really up that difficulty. You can sort by difficulty, which I love, and you can save collections as well. So I have like six different collections. I have like hit, cardio, yoga, bar, Pilates, etc. I've just saved classes that fit what I need into those categories so like i'm at a point now where i want like level two slash level three 30 minutes long and that fit into all those categories and so i've sort of pre-saved a bunch of classes it might be a yoga day today also yes i look like an egg right now like a cute egg i have some of the least put together yoga equipment for how long I've been doing yoga. It's it's atrocious. My boyfriend has one of those resistance bands that can be put like underneath a door. So I use the thing for that. Let me tell you, getting this thing around your toes while you're in a yoga position, really not good. Maybe I'll go get a strap today. Maybe that's something I'll do. Oh my god it takes so long now so i just put on a little bit of makeup i'm very into my eyebrows right now i'm very happy with the routine that i have i've been using this guy excuse me like hunt through my 18 eyebrow products so i've been using these two this is the glossier boy brow which by itself i'm not a huge fan of to be honest i feel like it doesn't add any like it adds definition to the individual hairs but then they end up your eyebrows overall end up looking a little washed out slash like blurry that's the best word i can think of so they don't really have that definition so what i've been using is literally just this little this little elf ultra precise brow pencil i just picked this up it was six dollars it's basically just the Anast anastasia brow waves but i just didn't want to spend like 20 26 dollars on that oh, it's so good Okay, I am wearing a look. See, I'm just wearing leggings, black leggings. This is like a long sleeve seamless top from H&M. Not the biggest fan, but it's cream and it's warm. So this is from Zara, the men's section. This is actually my boyfriend's. This is my Aritzia wool scarf. Yes, I'm wearing a lot of cream. Hence my phone case. This is the uh, Lulu Everywhere bag. I've never worn it like this, like underneath the jacket, but I thought it'd be cute. It's, it's cold, it's raining, hence my hat, also my boyfriend's hat. That's the, that's the fit. Can't see that, it's straight face. Together ever since we left, I guess it just makes sense to what the rain 
I just filmed the whole clip and realized that I had actually been filming in slow motion. Has anyone else ever done that? I've done that twice lately and I hate it. Um, I'm sorry for the terrible, terrible lighting, the like yellow back there. I'm directly next to the window because there's almost no light left, but I really wanted to show you what I got today. I just got home. I am very tired. I had a very awkward day. I just had one of those days where like I didn't have enough hands. I was not prepared. I didn't have the right bag. <laughs> to like hold all my stuff and so i was like dropping things and like trying to be calm and collected and then my hair was like frizzing a lot because it was raining and i didn't like bring a hair elastic or a hair clip which is why it's now up in a bun and by the time i got home i was just like very flustered let me know if you guys are feeling this way about going kind of like back out into the world and like having to interact with strangers again because I am like, it's hard. It's been a minute and I just, I was just so awkward today. Like so awkward, but it's fine. It's fine. It's a learning experience. We gotta learn how to be human again. Anyway, so I got a few things. I had a lovely day. I went down to Flowerist Bakery in Vancouver, which is on, if you're in Vancouver, it's on Victoria Commercial. It's a cute, cute, cute little bakery. I've been wanting to go to it for so long. I just, honestly, I really love the name, but it's actually really cute in there. And I had the most amazing chocolate chip cookie, the most amazing cup of tea. And then um, on the way home, I stopped at the mall to grab this. I needed a yoga strap. Like I was saying this morning, my yoga tools are not ideal. This is from Lululemon, it was $16. I really wanted a cream colored one, but black is totally fine. They didn't have one in store and I really just wanted to pick one up. So I got that and I stopped at Zara unintentionally. They were having a sale. And so I got this adorable little top. I have footage in the changing room, so I'll show you that. I got this little vest top and it's got these cute little buttons and then it's a halter neck. So I'm gonna see my friend tomorrow for drinks and I'm gonna, blah, 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 and I'm gonna wear that. The thing that I was like really drawn by, the reason I went into the store was this. So this is 100% cotton, which is amazing. I've really been wanting a shirt like this to wear around the house while I'm working from home, like with jeans. It's slightly oversized, but it hangs really well. I got it in a small, but I also thought for my honeymoon, and just in the summer, I really love like linen button down shirts, but I thought this would be a really nice alternative, which is why I didn't get it in white, but they did have it in white and a bunch of other colors. And it was really nice and like thicker and not see-through. The last thing I picked up, on the way home were these. These are just little, they're not wildflowers, but they do look like wildflowers. And spring flowers are some of my favorites. I'm so excited. I have the house to myself and I had the whole day to myself. And I just, you think I'd be sick of myself by now, but I'm not. I'm going to make a salad, eat leftover pizza with it. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna watch, there's a new season of Sweet Magnolias out, which is like the cringiest. It's the cringiest show but it's so good. I think I'm gonna end the video here for tonight, but I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.